Welcome to my review of the MSI X370 Diamond Pro Carbon. This is the AM4 X370 chipset and we have tons of MSI features which we're going to take a closer look in a moment. Inside the box you'll find your thank you note, your SATA labeling kit, your quick install guide, your detailed user manual, and some information in regards to the AM4 CPU. We have SATA cables, two in total, additional strips for RGB headers, SLI bridge, and the IO, which is black on one side. So this is our first look at the product. Carbon products have in the past and on this model are heavily black with carbon elements, particularly around this heatsink here. And then the main shrouding as well is stacked with additional carbon print and a very aggressive and unique heatsink layout. There's also some silver elements, particularly around the DDR4 banks. And this is again carried over to the PCI Express slots as well, which we have three in total, two of which are good to go for SLI or Crossfire. The M2 shield is a very interesting addition. Not only will it help with thermals, but it does improve the look. Sadly, there's only one to cover the two slots. Four SATA ports on the right side of the board with a right angled USB 3.0 header, and then a further two SATA ports in a vertical arrangement at the bottom. Lots of connectivity along the base and headers and additional buttons. A fair amount for the price point, but overall first impressions of the product are really nice, sleek and clean. So then it's time to talk about my final thoughts if you like, conclusion, wrap it all up and let you know how I found the product, good points, bad points and a product award. So I'm just going to jump in and let you guys know straight away this is going to be picking up my editor's choice and the value badge and my reasons for that are pretty self-explanatory. In terms of pricing on the review date as I produce this video, it's about £160 which for an AM4 board with the X370 chipset this this sort of level of features rgb and the bundle factoring it all in looking at the competition it is very good value now that price will bounce around and change as time progresses but for now that's what i'm basing it on editor's choice it does feel somewhat naive uh you know full disclosure i'm being honest with you guys i've only looked at a handful of am4 products at the moment uh, they're not even all on the website so that's why i've got a little bit more information up here but not on the website so bear with me as we try and sort of muddle through this so yeah i've seen a few products now uh, and it's picking up my editor's choice also because of the value side of things which i've just touched upon but the design i'm really pleased with the design that msi have gone for it is somewhat of a i think the term best fitting would be a lift and replace or a recycle a rehash perhaps um, because we've seen this sort of look before and there's nothing wrong when a brand does this you know as long as it's still unique and identifiable, um, you know, there's nothing worse when there's just a stack of products with different model names, but to look at them in person, you couldn't tell them apart. I'm not a fan of that. So there are some subtle and, you know, minimal changes to separate this from the Intel model, for example. 
So yeah, design is nice and clean. The carbon is a winner for me. I've got a personal sort of soft spot for carbon. Anyway, a lot of mods and builds that I've done in the past, I've liked to use carbon wrapping. Uh, and it works really well with lighting. So once you introduce the RGB elements, as long as you know you keep it realistic and you don't get a bit over the top because I'm not a fan of mismatching colors, but if you set a subtle blue or a you know, white or something to that effect, once that light bounces off the carbon, it looks really good. The PCB is nice and clean. It's not overly um, stuffed with features and writing and branding. And there's nothing crazy on there. I've had issue with the MSI Dragon branding on past products where um, I, I found it a little bit over the top. Um, and that was the same with the Create stuff. So here on the carbon, they've nailed it. It's nice and clean. Uh, and you know once you start building upon it with their products it looks great but you can also use other brands products hassle free so yeah visuals are good as i said value is there feature set for the price point is right and the bios now the bios is a bit of uh it's one of those areas that some viewers are going to completely get me and you know pick up on exactly what i'm saying and others may be scratching their head thinking well it's the bios how often do you go in there realistically most will enter there once or twice to configure their boot order or set their memory up and then never return but tweakers players uh, gamers overclockers we're in there a lot and to have a logical bios where everything's laid out and sectioned into tabs uh, it, it's a big deal and you know when i've been looking at a lot of products from other brands returning to an msi product because i haven't reviewed one for some time now it's refreshing and it's just you know brings it back to the you know the front of my memory that it's an actually damn good bio so credit to the msi team for that um performance as i sort of touched on earlier yes i don't have 101 other products to compare to and in the charts i obviously am comparing to intel as well just to give you some sort of idea of where this sits but yes performance was solid Again, I did identify weaker areas on some past MSI products where um, for the Intel equivalent, when we had like the B series and such, the M2, the USB and other areas, there was notable weakness. Um, now, we don't have that on X370. It's consistently strong from one product to the next. And the MSI product in particular delivered very impressive numbers. So yeah, just to wrap it all up, it's a nice looking product. Feature set is fair for the price point. BIOS is good. There's lots of uh, options in there to fiddle around. You can customize and tweak and get this product to be unique for you when it comes to the lighting. I was a little bit skeptical about the location of the lighting because we've got it around the, what I refer to as the IO shielding or shrouding, which is the, the block that sits over the USB ports. And then we've got it ambient effect down the back side of the board and then we've got chipset heat sink as well and then a line down the audio which is on the bottom left of the board so they've you know they've identified popular spots to light um, they haven't put anything around the pci slots or the ddr4 but again that's reflected in the pricing and the overall effect is decent the app it still needs a little bit of work in my opinion but it is maturing with time so uh, stick with it, play around with it, and you can produce a really nice looking rig with it. So thanks to MSI for sending this one out. And if you've enjoyed the content, hit the sub button, hit the like button. If it sucked, let me know, drop me a comment. I'm always open to feedback. And if you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can.